Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning the 8th of February. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to look at a forecast for your moon sign or your rising sign as well. If it does resonate, if you want to claim the reading, or if you want to me to resonate with your energy, throw a comment below the video. All right. So let's get started. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my new channel. Really appreciate that. Uh, if this is your first time, know that I channel messages from spirit. This is a spirit energetic reading. So there's always some homework. All right. I have an army of spirits at my disposal. Oh, wow. Thank you. Let me grab that. We got two here. Wow. Ah. I've got an army of spirits at my disposal, and I'm also getting some of your guides in, some of the people that are guided to these videos. So I find that fascinating. You know, they laugh, they scream, they cry, they dance. And in December, one of them in a Leo reading turned my TV on. Totally freaked me out. Anyway, just know that it's all about um, their ability to communicate because there is no end. We always will and always shall be. We are energy. You can call it your soul. I will not judge whatever you call it. And uh, so these spirits just want to get my attention so that I can communicate to them the messages for you. All right. So what do we have for our gems, our Geminis, for the period beginning 8th of February? What do we got, guys? All right. So we have... The Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Coins in reverse. We have the Chariot in reverse. We have the Eight of Rods in reverse. Okay. We have Justice. Ooh, and we have the, the seven of coins. Let's start with those. Let me just get these out of the way and grab. Okay, so we're starting out with this knight of swords, you know, and this is about drama, 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 like roller coaster drama. Not that you're creating the drama. Uh, well, okay, so spirits going, yes, yeah, some of them are creating the drama. Some of you may be creating some drama, but for the most part, um, you're, you're, in for some drama that for circumstances that you know it's not like you're creating it but you're getting sucked in that's what we're seeing at the beginning of this period you know these highs and lows sudden truths may come to light uh, or underlying conflicts are exposed um, they they may be illuminating they may be very stressful um, depending on um, on how you perceive it okay so so getting sucked into the drama now, the Ten of Coins, which is a really lovely card. In reverse, it's about conflict. Um, maybe family conflict, maybe, maybe money conflict. So we've got stress, and we've got some conflict here. And the inability to move forward. Um, the, the, the chariot in reverse is about uh, ego. Um, it's about being set. You know, putting uh, putting the brakes on, let's just call it. So you're putting the brakes on things. And so um, you can't move forward, uh, you know, uh, and, and it might, okay, so someone's saying, okay, you may be putting the brakes on things or you're dealing with someone with ego that's putting the brakes on things. You know, this can show a person or event that's spiraling out of control. Um, selfish needs being put put above everything else. So you so this this drama that's being created may not be of your doing, and you're you're getting sucked into this whirlwind. And so, what does it do for you? Nothing. Uh, it doesn't really do much for you except for give you um, some delays in um, in finishing particular work projects, whether it's a purchase of a home or remodeling. Um, hard to get the commitment from the, or the communication, in the relationship and some delays with, um, 
with money coming in. So spirit is saying, okay, so the homework is, is to detach from the drama. Okay. Easier said than done, right? Hmm. And how do we detach from drama? Okay, we're going to the dollar store. We're going to go get a dollar notepad and we're going to write down the situation. And we're going to write down in the situation exactly how we feel. Because once we get it off our chest, our anxiety starts to decrease. And by writing it down, we're helping on the way to resolving this internal conflict within ourselves. You may not be able to solve the external situation. Uh, and it's, if it's someone else's drama, it's, it's on them. But you can resolve the internal reaction and perception uh, of this. So get the notepad, write it down, take that, and you'll just, that immediate increase in respiration, decrease in, in anxiety that those, some, of you are, some of you are having, okay? If you're not having this, great! I'm happy for you because I, you know, this is a bit of a pain in the in the patootie. So, if you can do that, you'll be able to find the balance. You'll be able to find that happy ground. So we're about justice, okay? And justice is about balance. It's about fairness. It's about moving forward, signing contracts on homes, finding the balance in relationships, and it's about positive improvements in career and money. Get rid of the drama. Release the dr Someone's going, release the Kraken. Okay, I have a funny spirit, by the way, and every time I say release, he always says the Kraken. Okay, release the drama, release the stress, and open up to this positive change in career, this improvement in money. Okay, keep your focus. Keep your focus on what it is that you want. Okay, this is about tending your garden. And as you tend your garden, your garden grows. Focus on what it is that you're looking for. And do it in a way that's a positive. If you can do it as a positive and not stay negative, then you'll make the good progress that you need to make. Okay? And then we've got the fool. And the fool is about... A new adventure, a new journey. It's about new beginnings. It's about moving forward, taking that leap of faith responsibly into the you know um, the new realm, that new Earth B. Okay, Earth A is full of drama and BS and worry and fear and anger and rage. And Earth B is about peace, love, joy, and harmony. Taking that step into that Earth B plane will help you move forward. All right. Um, one more, and you got the Empress, and the Empress is about abundance, it's about money, it's about material wealth, okay, the abundant life, moving into a new home, renovating an existing home, harmony and happiness in relationships, and financial security, this is where you want to get to, right, this is where you want to get to, you just got to let go, let go of the drama, let go of the stress let go of the negativity if that is it resonates with you uh every time i get an uh, a comment from an angry gemini then i'm like i'm not angry and i can feel the seething when they say that and they say i have nothing to release honey everybody has something to release don't bs a bs -er, okay don't you can't this is not going to happen. All right, so what do we have here? So we have Krishna on these cards, and we have find the blessings in your current situation. Okay, so there's a saying when when um, when things don't go the way that I think they should go, I always say to spirit, I'm sure something amazing will happen, more amazing than I can possibly imagine. And then I in that by doing that, I find some shred of goodness in where I'm at. I never get upset. Well, I try not to. I'm not perfect. You know, if I were perfect, I wouldn't be on this planet. But by doing that, I'm able to release any kind of negative thoughts and emotions, feelings about the situation, and in a way, find that blessing. Or in the morning, I'll have a, I'll make myself a, a macchiato or a, a, a stiff cup of espresso. Mm. 
And no matter how bad my night was or how bad I think my morning is, it immediately changes because I just find the deliciousness in that hot beverage and bada bing, my life changes, okay, for that moment. And then those moments keep piling on. All right, what else do we have? Kuan Yin is saying, let it go. All right, let go of the drama, let go of the stress, let go of the BS. Even if you're not creating it, you can still not get buy into it. Don't be a party to it. All right, and that will really help you move forward. All right, guys, really appreciate it. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm really excited. I want to hear some comments about these new beginnings, these new moves, this new this new journey you're going on, and um, the pop into with the positive into that earth bee mentality, which will open up the, the beautiful riches of life and abundance for you. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.